So let's have examples 47 and 48 on identification of zero force members. So problem 47, identify zero force members from the trust shown. So let's look at the situation. We cannot find a joint where there are only two meeting members or two forces and if we look at these supports there are two members but remember there are reaction components here and there is also one vertical reaction here so there is no case one for this situation but for case two there are so many so first we consider this joint here the two members are collinear this is unique so automatic this member carries no force then we proceed to this joint there are four members but because this is zero it's like there are only three members so the two are collinear this is unique so therefore this member carries no force if you look at that joint then we proceed to that so there are one two three four then we have a force five so there's no this situation is not uh, qualified for case two so let's look for other joints so let's proceed to this joint here there are three members and the two are collinear therefore this carries no force so that is zero you then proceed to this joint there are four members but because this is zero it's like there are only three members then the two are collinear therefore this member carries no force then we proceed to this joint there are four members but because this is zero it's like there are only three members the two are collinear therefore this member is unique this member carries no force then we proceed to this joint here we have one two three then the fourth one is the force therefore that this joint does not qualify for case two then here we proceed to this joint here the two members are collinear this is unique so this carries no force if you look at that joint so we proceed to this there are three members plus this force here so this does not qualify case two so let's look for another joint this joint here the two are collinear this is unique so this carries no force so if we proceed to that there are one two three members fourth would be this 18 kilonewton load that does not qualify to case two so this is not zero so therefore there are four members here so no zero members here no zero force members here so that's it so those are the zero force members there are two four six seven zero force members then we proceed to problem 48 identify zero force members from the trust shown below so for case one uh, there are two members but remember there are reactions here there is one vertical reaction here this is a roller support two here vertical and horizontal the horizontal com component of reaction is definitely 30 kilonewtons to the left but i will not mark that so beginning with this joint here the two are collinear this is unique so therefore this is this carries no force if you sum up forces x because these two are collinear whatever is the force here that should also be the force there so because this is zero so n nm member is also zero then if you look at joint n two members are collinear this is unique therefore this unique member cn carries no force zero we proceed to join C. There are four members, but because CN is zero, it's like three members only at join C. So the two members BC and CD are collinear. This is unique. So this unique member carries no force. If we proceed to join L, then there are so many members attached to this so that this does not qualify to case two. No, this does not qualify to case two. So because there are also four members at joint D, this does not qualify to case two and remember there is 40 kilonewton load here so this does not qualify to case two also so we proceed to joint J 
at join J, the two are collinear. Then this is unique, so GJ is zero. Then we proceed to join G, the two are collinear. This is a member, but this member carries no four, so it's like there are only three members. The two are collinear, this is unique, so GL carries no fours. Then if we proceed to this, there are still one, two, three, four, five members, so that's this joint L does not qualify as case two. So therefore, those are the zero force members. As A N, N M, C N, C L, G J, and G L. So that's it for this problem.